in times of peace or in times of war, it matters not. By the Emperor's own decree, the mail must get through. What is this? I didn't approve this delivery. Is something moving in there? Something is moving in there. This is beyond my pay grade. I'm out of here. Hey, Star Wars buddies. Just got a delivery from Hasbro Pulse. And, oh, wait a minute. I wasn't expecting this. Okay, hang on. Let's up with this. See what's in here. Okay, this changes everything. I guess this just became a double review. At long last, I finally get to open this playset. Okay, this is for another day. Now, this is what I was waiting for. Finally got figures to populate this playset. Awesome. All right, let's get cracking. Start with the Rebel Trooper set. Admire that beautiful line art, reminiscent of the Stormtrooper pack. Looks very similar. Packaged the same way. So far, so good. Couple extra weapons here. So you got the four troopers. They each have a DH-17 blaster pistol. But Hasbro also threw in a couple of A280C blaster rifles, just for good measure. There they are. Now what's cool about this pack is they've kind of diversified the crew here. Which is kind of neat. It's definitely four distinctive characters. And it is nice that they've diversified them. I hope Hasbro continues the trend. Could definitely use some Aboriginal representation, some Latin representation, some Middle Eastern. I mean, it's a worldwide property, but uh, kudos to Hasbro nonetheless. Very good looking face sculpts here. Ah, he looks great. Nice loadout. Back view. Close up on blaster detail. Just pretty good for the scale. Yeah, the rifle looks good. Now we got a little uh, ankle ammo pack. There's a pinhole in the back of the boot. Let's pin it in, wrap it around, and it actually holds pretty securely. Looks great, too. All around good sculpting. 
I will, I will say the quality is maybe just a notch down from the the carded VC. But can't complain. All right, now we get to open the Tantiv. But uh, first we'll show off this awesome, awesome box art. Get you a look at the top. Get you both sides. You even put artwork on the bottom. Okay, let's tear into this. Been waiting a long time, Hasbro. But I like to see those troopers come out side by side with this. But we got there. Well, carded trooper looks like he survived the trip. Actually, the card's in very good condition. Oh, and this paper pouch that I think we've all heard about by now. Gotta make sure not to throw that out. More on that later. Very clean sculpt. Details are raised. Nice white gloss. Door action, smooth as silk. Great detail on the door. Pretty much an exact duplicate. This has to be the floor decking. Looking good. Nice gloss. Now, as we can see, some assembly required. Okay, let's get going. I have to say, everything was well packed in this box. Doesn't look like anything moved around or rattled or scraped. Pretty straightforward so far. Everything just pins. Pins and holes. Okay, this door, I'll, I won't lie to you, it threw me for a little bit of a loop. But I found the easiest way was to remove that brace, attach it to the door. There we go. There. I'll snap that into place. Okay, we got that joined up. It's all locked in. Yeah, so we got lugs sticking out of the walls. And there's cavities in the floor deck. So, it doesn't just sit there, it locks in. And pulls everything tight. Pulls the doors tight, the walls. It actually gets pretty rigid at this point. Doesn't feel flimsy. Oh, 
Well, setup's actually a breeze. Just got to make sure these are upside right when you install them. All right, that's cool. I guess those are the only play features and doors are smooth. Nice smooth operation. So you can see here how rigid the set becomes. There's no wobbling, nothing's falling off it. Say so all in all a pretty faithful reproduction. That iconic Tant of interior. All right, here we go. Carded figure. Now, at first glance, he looks like yet another distinct character. His face sculpt is different from the four pack. A fantastic card back, by the way. And the figure looks pretty dang good. It's got some neat accessories. Nice brilliant card back. Very nice. And of course, VC 183. Alright, let's get him out, see how he stacks up with the four pack. Setting this card aside. That's too nice a card to throw away. So there he is, four accessories. Also got the same standard blaster, ball cap, range finder, and the ankle ammo. Which the ankle ammo seems to be uh, a little more detailed than the four pack. Has a little extra paint apps. It's a great figure though. Okay, let's put him in the squad with the rest of these boys. Oh, yeah, they really make the set. Boom, just like that, we've got five distinct troopers. Oh yeah, the pouch. Can't forget the pouch. Pouch has the foot pegs. Which I thought was a little weird at first, but... Uh, I guess if you just want the smooth look on the deck, kind of have that option, so.
Oh, a lot of these are going to get lost. All right, we got to populate this thing. Got a battle going on. Uh, blast effects provided by the Black Widow Deluxe Set. Just figured I'd throw those in there to spruce it up a little bit. What a blast. <laughs> Pretty awesome though, you can recreate that iconic opening scene. Been waiting since 77 to do this. Gotta say, I think it's a step up from the Jabba playset in some ways. The toy photographers will have a field day with this. I know I'm going to post a few photos to Instagram. If you haven't checked out my Instagram, it's Edmonton Stormtrooper. Only got a few photos up there right now, but plan on getting a little more active on Instagram. So I think now we'll just leave you with a few stills. And if you have not got this set, I recommend you try to get it. It's pretty cool. It's probably going to be starting to go for clearance prices, I would imagine. But I think a worthwhile investment for any Star Wars fans. So, as you can see, the possibilities are endless for you photographers out there. I think you're going to have a lot of fun with this one. And I'd like to take a moment to thank you for subscribing. Uh, also, welcome to you new subscribers. I really appreciate you guys. Uh, I'm going to really try to bring you some good content in the future. Got a few plans. Uh, please stick with me and we'll go through this together. Hey, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.